Hey everybody, welcome back. I am Nina Rodriguez and this is my channel, Misfit to Teach, where I talk about all things teaching and how to stay mentally, physically, and emotionally fit to teach. So if I haven't met you already, please hit the subscribe button so that you and I can come together every week which is going to be pretty important in the weeks to come since there's only two more weeks left until, yes, until the school year begins. So I'm making this video today because I wanted to um, touch base with all the teachers out there, soon to be teachers, veteran teachers, um, anybody who is going to be setting foot in the classroom as something other than a student and this is a big deal we've got two more weeks before our coveted summer break is over of course there is a lot going on right now there's crazy things happening in the political climate um the cultural climate uh it, it really everywhere we look the economic climate it's it's a very very um interesting time for now i wanted to talk about um kind of where where a teacher's head can be as as summer break comes to a close and, and we really start to uh, think more closely about what the school year is going to be looking like. In the last two weeks, uh, a couple things that I do. One, I can start to feel my anxiety building back up for the school year. You know, I'm, I'm waking up each each day starting to feel the the return of those um Sunday scaries, that that feeling that oh my god, Monday morning is approaching and I've got to be with my students all week and this is going to be challenging. Um so I'm first thing that I do is remind myself that the summer ain't over, right? We still got two more weeks. That's two weeks of rest, relaxation, positive experiences, tasks to complete around the house, things to do um, that, that nurture my own self-care, stuff like that. So if you're feeling the way I do, where you, that anxiety is starting to bubble back up to the surface, I want you to stop and take a deep breath and put things back into perspective. Recognize that the summer really is not over until September 21st. There's still a lot more summer to, to happen and therefore a lot more really great, um, fun outdoors experiences to be had with your family and your loved ones. By no means, just because the, the school year is, is on the verge of starting, does it mean that your life is over? It does mean though that a few other things are having to take place. One of those things um, is I've now returned my focus almost full time um, to lesson planning. So I'm sitting at home uh, during the easier hours of the day, which for me is kind of, kind of that latter part of the afternoon, sometime after lunch, usually between 1, 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. And I'm working out lesson plans churning out uh, the first few weeks of stuff that I want to knock out with my students, reflecting on what worked and what didn't work from the year before. Um, and I'm also checking my rosters as well as um, any new books that have crossed my radar that I know would be good reads at the eighth grade level. And um, things like worksheets, practices, group work, projects, anything that I think would really pique my students' interest in the um, first few weeks of school. Another thing that uh, I'm doing at this time of the year in particular, I want to start out right out of the gate being fresh faced, fully energized. So um, I'm taking a look at my wardrobe, throwing away anything that I really don't think that I'm going to wear this year. This shirt being one of them. So it's like a skin. Anyway, for me, less is more. So I'm throwing away anything that I don't plan on wearing. Um, anything that I don't want uh, in my space for this year that not that's not just attire that's also old classroom decor um, old furniture things around my house too that I, I really don't want in my periphery when I'm, I'm at home after work all stuff like that another thing too that I, I advise that's important for me but I advise for everybody not just teachers is to really take a look at recharging um, your health and wellness. If you haven't prioritized those things up to this point in the year, start to add that to your, to your priorities. You can't operate in your best self if yourself is always last or if yourself is, is not taken care of. Um, so 
I'm making sure that the refrigerator is stocked with fruits, vegetables, clean cold water to drink, um, prepping meals for the first couple weeks. Uh, when I'm getting home and when I get in the door every evening, the last thing I want to do is slave in the kitchen to, to put a meal on for everybody. Another thing that I'm doing as we approach the beginning of the school year is I'm knocking out any remaining little bucket list things that I really wanted to do with my family or for myself. So my son and I kayak a whole lot in, in the summer. I posted that in my previous video talking about kayaking and how much we love to do that but besides kayaking we we also want we wanted to go to the beach this summer um, definitely hit up a few amusement parks spend some time with family at, at family parties uh, family reunions um, definitely had a, enough time to stay at home read take naps um, do yard work uh, take the dog on on a hike anything that that you would like to knock out just so that you you're in a good place mentally when you start the school year so that you feel like your summer may not have been perfect but it was at least fulfilled fulfilled enough that you can look back with contentment and look forward to the school year with enthusiasm i would highly recommend knocking out any last small items from your summer bucket list so that you start the school year fresh and rejuvenated and really, one of the last things that I'm thinking about, um, besides you know lesson planning, prepping my meals, adding in my exercise to prioritize my health and wellness, um, knocking out any remaining bucket list items, uh, one very important thing, particularly this year, is I, I'm also rethinking my classroom decor, what I want my classroom space to look like, but. Inflation is, is, is really kind of a nightmare right now. So instead, what I will plan to be doing is pulling out old decorations, old uh, projects that I've kept from previous students, um, anything that would look good as a display or a poster or signage, um, anything that would make really nice, comforting classroom decor um, to bring my whole room together and really uh, kind of give my new students a sense of what goes on in my classroom. That's really what we're gonna be doing this year. I'm not purchasing a bunch of new bulletin board items, not gonna be buying, um, new uh, frilly classroom decorations, stencils, and different uh, colored items. You know, I, I can't justify those costs at this time. So what we're gonna do instead is re-liven and revamp old things that I've kept from students prior that are really near and dear to me and put those in my classroom for my future students to see. So that's it. That's everything that's going on right now. Comment below how you are getting through the last few weeks before the summer or before the summer ends and the school year starts and basically just how you're um how you're getting amped for this new school year. You are very capable and this could quite possibly be your best year yet. I believe it will be. Thanks so much for watching. Once again, hit that subscribe button. I would love to see you again. I really want to see you again. Hit the subscribe button. We'll come together every week. Thanks so much and do all you can to stay fit to teach. Be well.